remember in 2009, right after the last housing market crash, I had the opportunity to borrow $25,000 at 2%. You know, at the time, I didn't have the right mindset to see that right in front of me was a low interest rate loan for $25,000. At the same time that a quarter of the houses in America were being sold at foreclosure prices. You know, I look back and it pains me to know that I missed a golden opportunity. I missed it because I hadn't developed the right mindset yet. Perhaps you have a similar story right after the last housing crash. The regret of not thinking ahead, even though the opportunity was right in front of me. You know, regret looking back, regret is painful, really painful. And now it potentially looks like we might have another 2008 on our hands with mortgage forbearances, and eviction moratoriums. The writing's on the wall. So imagine yourself back in 2007. What if you made sure that you had excess cash available and time to educate yourself on what to do with that cash? Then you'd be ready to strike when the opportunity hits. The good news is now you have that opportunity right before a potential market crash. And even better than that, you have up to three years to decide what you're gonna do with it, to educate yourself and develop your own investor identity. And more importantly, you'll be ready to hit when the iron is hot. This opportunity is section 2103 of the CARES Act. The bad news? This window of opportunity is about to expire in a few days. So what are you going to do? Are you going to repeat your actions of 2007? Whether you have an investing plan right now or you don't, it doesn't matter. If you just call your current 401k custodian and say the magic words, I would like to start a COVID-related distribution. Once you say that, that's it. You just bought yourself three years to learn and develop your own investing plan. You'll have three years to develop that investing mindset, understand the investing risks, and understand what type of investor you want to be. You'll have three years to decide if you want to put up to $100,000 in that self-directed retirement plan. If you do, you'll have the ability to buy, sell, and rent real estate with all your profits tax-free straight into your retirement fund. You'll have the ability to allow other airline pilots to invest in your win-win deals. Ever think about getting into real estate, but you didn't have the capital, the down payment? If you take advantage of the CARES Act, you have three years to decide. The ability to have other airline pilots invest in your deals. The ability to hedge inflation by buying gold and silver and putting it straight into your retirement fund. The ability to continue investing in the stock market just like you did with your former 401k. But now you have more options. The ability to buy your dream retirement house with tax-free money, rent it out, all that tax-free profit goes to fund your nest egg for retirement. And when you're 59 and a half, that retirement house is yours, all with tax-free money. That's the way I want to retire. You have three years to change your mind. If you decide investing in a self-directed retirement plan is not for you, you have three years to put that money back. Penalty-free from your original 401k, everything goes back to normal, all with zero fees. You know, there are a few opportunities where there's a built-in undo button. And fortunately, this is one of the few. I'm giving myself the opportunity to take my time on my journey to financial freedom. Time to learn and develop a plan and have no regrets. Not again. And I hope you take advantage of this opportunity also because there's nothing more painful than regret. Avoid future regret. If you'd like to study up, go to my website at layovermoney.com slash cares act where I lay out exactly what you need to do to take advantage of this opportunity. And if you have any questions along the way, feel free to schedule a free call with me at layovermoney.com slash chat with Mike because regret has never been so easy to avoid.